I sat down myself to think how I can help these people. I have realized, listen to me, until we start showing these people love and bringing them closer to us, they will never come out of those illegal things and give them accommodation and have a time that will be talking to them all the time to encourage them. That is the best way I think I can help you all. When you start believing in God, this is more you realize that a uh, lot of things are possible. Church is something that actually you turn your life around. There's a difference between life on the street and life on the church. I can sometimes feel a, a different vibration, you know, your street vibration to, uh, to the sort of little oasis of peace here. And just being on the streets of Pilgrim. Is, is not always easy. Because if you are sending the person back to the street, you are causing more harm than good. So you have to now start to see how to cancel this person and make this person come out of that illegal act. Babalu Yabato is a central Methodist program. It's a soup kitchen. It also helps with uh, some clothes and see what they need. Those who need to help in applying for ITs, they help them. We need to counsel them, talk some spiritual things to them, build them and see that they are changed. We have certain shelters where we can save women and children. It's more difficult to find accommodation for men. If we can assist them with a few nights accommodation by a small amount of money, we try to do that as well. But we're also limited with the assistance that we can give. The, the nature of uh, Jerry's business is such we are um, assisted on the other hand by donors. So the limitation will be the financial limitations. There are just not sufficient places in Johannesburg where one can send people to. You know, there's a place where people go and get food every day, you know what I'm saying? But it's not enough. There's plenty of us in the streets. There's so many of us. It's dirty, it's filthy. This is bad. This is really bad, you know? <laughs> Real. There's a group of Christians who have a huge, big cross, wooden cross, that they carry. And every Thursday they go into Hilbra, just walking around, talking to people. And I think that is an in incredible outreach uh, program, and especially, you know, in, in the area. It's like taking it back to where it belongs, so that the people can now recognize within us the things that they want to aspire to. There's a longing to actually to find that kind of fulfillment that isn't just contained in the building, but it's in the reality of living where they are at that moment in time. So we're not encouraging them to come out of where they are, but actually to make the best use of what they've got at that moment in time. It wasn't because we felt that we should evangelize Hillbrow, which was because we wanted to respond to the heart of the people. came from various, various churches. We don't belong to one church. We just come to share the word of God to you if you believe it's for your good. I just enjoy speaking about, about the gospel because it's changed my life. And that's how I met Sika and how I got to coming out to Yilbra and why I enjoy going out and speaking to people and trying to get them off the street and to change the way they live. It's a, it's a different approach, but it's a very necessary path. It's, it's like that freedom has to be given to all of them. As far as other Christian groups, there would be very, very little going on outside of building structure. A lot of people don't want the church. They, they've been involved with it, but they don't need it anymore. But at the same time, of course, it's the progression from there. We're actually saying that there's hope for you, and it begins inside. And we want to encourage it in the best way we know. If we go back biblically, we realize this is what we're really supposed to be doing to be helping those people that are helpless. Only God can get through to each and every individual that's living in Hillbrook today. If there's a person who's devoted to do that, they can. If God give us this opportunity to meet these people and help them to grow up, you see that our society will change, people will change. As the thing is growing, I think um, maybe the government will also look at it and see that maybe this is something that is about to help this area and they might do something then. You know, when you talk to people about God, people, they listen. Even maniacs, even drug addicts, even alcoholic, they listen. And this is the only way that they're going to get through to each and every individual in Hillbrook.